Ladies and gentlemen, we have some breaking news. Do, do, do. I really need to add some sound effects to that. But before we get to it, this video is sponsored by The Botch Guy. The Botch Guy's YouTube channel. If you guys haven't become a subscriber, think, of, think about it. It's a good idea. We have an amazing community here. The best mint AF. All right. All right. I got the plug out of the way now. Let's get to it. Corey Graves has apparently been cleared after seven years out of the ring per Sean Ross Sapp at Fightful.com on Patreon. And he talks a little bit more about this and we're going to get into it in this video. Of course, I'm not going to just take every little word for word tidbit, but I will say this. As you can see, we can confirm that he's not on the list any longer when it comes to his injuries on his medical status and remember he had a no contact list and it's gone now that's very important thing to mention also Corey Graves said he's been watching it closely referring to Edge's return in the podcast and he says honestly man it was inspiring Graves told Edge on after the bell last year I would say at two or three different points I went man I live in Pittsburgh now and I should go find Dr. Maroon it just gave me the urge to do this all over again I don't know whether or not that's a possibility but the thought was planted in my brain for quite some time of course this leads back to what we just had with Sean Ross Sapp and he talks way more detail about this clearing but all we can say is do we have a potential chance to have Corey Graves at Royal Rumble that is a possibility now that was never a possibility before and I would love to hear what you guys think on what the WWE and Corey Graves specifically is going to do moving forward do you take him off the broadcasting or do you put him as a full-time or even as a part-time wrestler? These are all important parts to think about moving forward now with this entire situation. So we have some really good news this time around. It's nice for some good wrestling news. And that's the Botch Guy News. Should I, should I, should I patent that? I don't know. Let me know below. Cheers. <laughs>